Okay. This algo, today's algo comes with a a silly, funny little story. Okay. It's not even it's not even that funny. Okay. It just I just comes with the story because I can't help but talk about this story every time I think about this this algo problem. All right. And maybe that's maybe that's a helpful technique for you as well, because well, there are lots of algo problems, as you already can probably tell. And uh, they're like math problems, right? There's so many of them. You can think of, you can create your own algo uh, problems. Uh, and there's a handful of common ones that you'll receive uh, during uh, coding test interviews. And so I, I like to think of some of these uh, simple popular algorithms and, and put like a little story or something to help me remember what it is and how I was able to solve it. For example, I'll give you one more uh, additional story here. I studied how to do this algo called bubble sort by writing it over and over. I could write it by memory. It was an inefficient algo. So I never thought I'd have to know it. Two years later, I had an opportunity to apply for Amazon and I got through the to the algo test and I forgot bubble sort out of all of them. So here's, I'm just giving a little story about this story. This algo here, it's called a palindrome, all right? Anyone know what a palindrome is off the top of their head? What does that mean? Palindrome. Be read the same. Read the same. As the same. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So here's my here's my funny little story. It's um, it's kind of sad actually, but it's it, it you know there's a, there's there's a comical element to it. So I I've made a friend, and I can say he's a he's a he he's he genuinely loved coding. All right? He helped me a lot when I was in in the dojo, but uh he had a problem and uh, he he ended up in a jail because he was drinking. And so, you know, he, I, but I can say he genuinely loved coding and his love for coding kind of spread to me as well. Seeing how enthusiastic he was to write a program, I just was fascinated by it and I started to, to get it myself. Well, anyways, he's in, he's, he's doing his time and uh, he's trying not to forget how to do these algo problems because he still plans on getting a job when he gets out. And he he's testing himself and he's writing this exact algo we're going to do today on the walls of the jail, you know, scratching it in with whatever he can to try to remember how to solve for this algo, how to make a palindrome function. And uh, he ended up this. The funny part is that people thought he was crazy because he thought he was writing some nonsense stuff and he had to try to prove that he wasn't crazy and tell them that it wasn't. It wasn't nonsense and that even palindromes exist, right? Like they wouldn't believe that a palindrome is a thing. So let's look at what a palindrome is. A palindrome is a word that's the same forward and backward. There, look at this, this word right here, race car, right? If you treat it, as, I mean, they're two separate words, but if you treat it as one word altogether, it's R-A-C-E-C-A-R. -E All right, let's read it from right to left now. R A C E C A R. Okay, so palindromes do exist. <laughs> okay, <laughs> palindromes exist. Anyone have any other popular palindrome they know at the top of their head? Um, I knew race car. Uh, there was another one. Um, something like Bob. Well, that's all right. Fine. Good enough. Ah, and I have. I I I recently made radar. Do geese see God? <laughs> a man, a man, a man planted canal Panama. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm glad I asked. All right. So it's supposed to be Panama. Is that how you spell Panama? Well, oh, I see. I didn't even. But it wasn't capitalized. It oh, wasn't sorry. a proper noun. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Do do geese see God is probably the funniest one. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I don't know why that caught me off guard. So let's go ahead and continue. I've pasted this code in the Discord. You guys are going to go into your own groups. Have fun with it.
Cool. Welcome back, everyone. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the algo. Let's go ahead and present a few solutions. Who would like to go first? Folks, I was just talking to you, had some good solutions. Okay. Come on, everyone. It's not that hard to present. Uh, we can go. Show our solution. Yeah, uh, I have the I have the code for our group. If you want me to share my screen, yes, please. No, I got it. Um, oh, you got it. I'll just present it. Yeah. All right. Okay, for. Our solution is in our function, we first created a variable, um, which is reverse, and it will be set to an empty string. And after that, we'll go through a for loop. And through each iteration, we'll just push the, or we'll just concatenate the, the element at the string index for our current iteration to the front of uh, our reverse variable nice and then after we get that we just do our conditional statements and we just compare reverse and string to see if they match if they do we return true if not we return false okay pretty good um nicely done pretty simple this is in python yeah that's our solution any other solution that's different than this one? By the way, great job, guys. Thank you, Jacob. So this is a nice one. You for loop, and then you add to a list. Then you compare that list that you reversed to the original list. If it's the same, then it's a palindrome. So great job again, guys. James, did you want to present your group's solution? Uh, yeah, sure. If... Uh... The group doesn't mind. Oh, I actually have it on my code. So uh, does anyone else in my group want to present a nice screen share or are they fine with you presenting? Uh, here, I can uh, screen share because I'm still copying in that last logic. Don't mind. Sure. Hey, sorry, I missed that, what you guys were saying. Do you need someone else to present for this one? I was asking if anyone wanted to. Like, or... I could try. It's always sure. best to kind of push through it. Yeah, then I guess I'll just sit back and take the credit. Hey, <laughs> for that good uh, check logic, yeah. Hey, James, is that right? Uh, that is what I had. Um, obviously, I can't be sure if it uh will match exactly the code you had, but let's see. I think it's the same. Yeah. Sorry. It looks like you there's an extra curly somewhere. That one, yeah, just right at line fifty. Yeah. If you delete that, then the return is outside the function, it That's looks like. OK, so how does this solution work? Uh, well, yeah, real quick, you'll have to move that up to line 46, but like under line 46. Oh, right here. Return statement. Yeah, like create a new line and then. Yeah, 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 yeah. OK. Gotcha. All right. So yeah, so for this one, we use three different built-in methods. We use the dot split, the dot reverse, and then dot join. So pretty similar, um, but we just took it in like a three-step process and didn't do any loops or anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, we took, we created the variable split string and then we split that one. So that's taking each, taking the string and then splitting it into its own separate strings and then putting that all into an array together. Mm -hmm. And then we took that one and then reversed it. So took that entire array, reversed the array, and then joined that, uh, joined all those strings, individual strings back together up again. Okay. Then we just printed the array and then we'd put in our if statements down there. Um, give me one second. What was that doing again? Oh yeah, checks if the two strings, yeah, that was where we kind of did the same thing as the other group. Just kind of checks if the two strings are the same. And then if so, return true. And then if not, false. That was it. 
Very nice. Very nice use of the inbuilt JavaScript methods. And does anyone have any questions? Looks like you can delete line 47. Since your if is a if else, then you got to return true or false. Yeah, you know, it helps to see when, I think the formatting could be a little bit better with, uh, can you like maybe. Right click it, format document. Yeah. Does it do that with JavaScript? Yeah. See, that's a little cleaner, but uh, if the comments, the comments there kind of get in the way where I would expect the opening. It's okay. There's just different ways to do it. Looks good. Uh, is it printing uh, true or false when you're invoking the function? I know it's returning is palindrome, but I don't think it should be true. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's working for that one. Uh, it's just actually right at the end. It was actually this last thing we were doing right before the breakout rooms. Is you just when you console log, you're you're console logging either. You just need to console log is palindrome with the string inside it but you're console logging the string or is palindrome right now you're console logging the word is palindrome without and invoking the function that's so weird yeah that was one of the other issues i was having the other day where mine <laughs> stopped doing that so i got to work on that on mine because it stopped doing that for some reason console log console log line 52 Just, yeah. yeah, comment out the other console logs and put line 52 in its own console log. Yeah. And then comment out 53. False. Cool. Very good. Very nice. And I think uh, if the other Tyler is here, he would say you are looping. Uh, not a traditional for loop, but with the join and the reverse and the split. Reverse is a loop. It is a sort of loop. So these inbuilt JavaScript methods are not free. They cost something. They, they, they cost uh, a loop, whatever effort that takes for the computer to do that. Yes. Yeah. So anyone else have a, another presentation? And I actually thought I'd throw you guys a, a challenge here. So anyone else want to present before I do that? Yeah, we could kind of go. Okay. Thank you, Hakeem. Appreciate it, sir. Yeah. Oh. So uh we kind of start out by uh Sign up from the beginning to end, which we kind of create a uh, kind of a variable from the uh, left to the right and contain the character and creating a uh, contain the character with the while loop that we kind of create with the help of Google. And uh, like uh, if the if statement if is uh, kind of false and, but this is what one of the TA I'm I'm sorry if I forget your name, but it was showing us a different kind of inbuilt way to go about it. But if it's uh, false, uh, then it's gonna return false. It's gonna compare. Well, if it's then returns true. So and console log and we we'll kind of get the true, true, false, false. So. Mm. Okay, so we have a function variables left and right. And while left is less than right, if uh, the uh, string at left is not equal to string at right, return false, and then you just decrease. Yeah. Okay. That that's pretty efficient. These are this is like a two pointer system. You have a pointer on the left, pointer on the right, and you have a loop that checks. Once left is less than right, that means they've crossed. Uh. You know, yeah, once once they that's no longer true, that's crossed. But while it's still going, you're gonna check each one and then you're just gonna reduce yeah. the 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 area that you're checking. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so nicely done. Very good job, Hakeem's group. I like the variety of answers I'm seeing. 
So I, I do want to throw you guys this challenge. All right. This next lecture is not that hard. It's it's actually kind of fun. So we're going to work a little harder this morning on algos if you guys want to. Okay. I'm going to throw it as an option. I, I think you guys would enjoy it. Since you guys have so many algo solutions for this one, and because you've already done this one before, how about we spend another 10 minutes in groups, random groups, and I want to see the same solution in Python. Okay, can you guys do that? All right, it's the same, same algo, same solution. All you have to do now is translate it a little bit, right? And I want two solutions in Python. So you've seen, now everyone has seen more than one solution, one other than their own groups. I'm gonna randomize the group. So maybe you have, you know, two people with the same answers written down, but since you guys have all seen it and can redo it conceptually, how fast can we do this uh, algo in Python in the next 10 minutes, okay? I won't keep it long, just 10 minute groups and we go. How do you guys like that challenge? You guys in? All right. Okay, and then we'll get a 15 minute break after. Get a nice heavy break. Okay, so let me open up the rooms. Um, oh, the, the same, same rooms as before. Okay, so same rooms, 10 minutes. Write two of the versions in Python, okay? Ready, go. I'll uh, I'll present because I think we got it at like the very end. So I want to see if like it actually worked. Awesome. Okay. All right. So the first one we have, uh, this is this is the one we did in JavaScript. Um. Do are we supposed to go through our own, or should we should I just do the other groups? Um, no, we, uh, either way, if you have one or two to present, show us both. Okay. I'm just going to go to the, the other groups because that's like fresh in my mind. Okay. Okay. So I didn't have time to like think this through, but I think I got it at the very end. Um, <clears throat> so we did the le like left and right one. So we have, um, left starting at zero and right starting at one less than the length of the string, um, while left is less than right. Um, and go through this while while loop. Um, if string left equals uh, string at right, so basically if if the letter most to the left equals letter most to the right, um, the left side increase index increases by one, the right in index decreases by one, um, and then it returns true. Um, also returns false. Honestly, like I barely understand it. Like I just got it to work at the very end. It looks like it's working. Um, so the so those first four are the um, are from our original algo solution, and then these second four cases are from these right here. Okay, so, so it's working. Yeah, <laughs> could, you clear, could you clear your terminal for us and then restart? And yeah. Restart the string? Yeah. Sorry, one sec. And and by the way, guys, after today, we're gonna not use this this uh, terminal uh, with this code render thing. We're gonna. We're gonna use our terminal. I can run it in terminal too. No, 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 it's fine. Just... It's fine. What you have is good. But it's just I'm wondering string one, string two, string three. That's like four function calls. Why is there eight, eight? Oh yeah, because because I this is both solutions in the same file. So this first one is is palindrome. Oh, oh, this okay. is our original the, solution. Comment out the first one. Comment out the first okay. one so we can see the. Always want to do that. I need the... They're different uh, named functions too. Okay. So let's see the strings. Yep. Okay. Oh, wait, I think I commented out something I needed. Maybe I, I didn't have it right. I think you just ran what you selected. Yeah, yeah. When you highlight oh, okay. the code, yeah, 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 yeah. And then you press <laughs> okay. play, it only runs the code. Yep, cool. I would say it's not working as expected. Okay. Or as it should. All right. It's, uh, it's only comparing the first and last right now. Oh, and that just happens to be putting the it same happens output. Happens to be what it's given. Yeah. You just so like if something had like a starting and ending letter that was the same. Yeah. Then but not, it would not probably in the middle. still say it was true, even if it's not a pillar drone. Well, wait, like, but then wouldn't string four 
I put returned. A, put a O at the end of string oh, it, four. It did. An O. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of string four. Yeah, there's an exclamation mark there. Well, leave the exclamation mark. Put a lowercase O and then save it. Run it. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. Ah, so you, very nice catch. You only yeah, as James is saying in the chat. Um, you need to move your return true because to... the first time just to outside the loop, right? If we successfully get yeah. through the middle point of the string, then at the very outside of it, we want to return true. So move it all the way down to the bottom. Yes. All the way down to the bottom. Yes, because it's going to hit true every time that while loop hits. You want it to only return true at the very end as a final result. Uh... So okay, I'm kind of confused. En enter, true, paste it, and back it up so it's even with that while. Uh, maybe two. How do you just go back to? Uh, just okay. Do backspace and then uh, instead of t tab, do uh, space. Yep. There you go. Okay. Try that. Cool. Okay. Okay. All right, we got that fixed as well. Nice catch, Vincent. I really like teamwork there. Anyone else want to present? And then we'll go ahead and close this out, get a nice break. Okay, you know what? We'll just close it out then. Thank you, everyone. That was a good algo session. I was glad that we got at least one in Python. All right, so... We might have that challenge every so often in the next coming weeks. So let's uh, just be prepared for that. All right, so I'll go ahead and stop the recording.